Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about how to program the make block robot with the ultrasonic sensor using the Arduino code. So we're going to start by opening up the following code. You go to examples, go to your make block folder and make sure you click on the dual mode starter code. Once you open the dual mode starter code, you will see these are the comments tell you how the code works. This first part sets up uh, variables and settings, so don't change any of that. Now, in the next part where it has um, void loop right here, this is the loop that runs over and over again, and this part lets the remote control still control the robot. But when you press the A or D button, then it's going to run this code, which is called ultra car process. So I'm going to scroll down. By the way, these are the sub-functions that teach the Arduino robot how to move forward and backward by controlling the individual motors. So let's scroll all the way down to this. This is what we're going to be concentrating on. It's the ultra car process function. And we're going to gut most of what's in the original program so we get this. You're going to leave the first two lines um, this line takes a variable called distance, which you defined earlier, and sets it to the distance that the ultrasonic sensor uh, gathers from the robot. So, for example, whenever you call, when this line is run, it's going to measure the distance in centimeters in front of an object in front of the ultrasonic sensor and store it in the variable called distance. Now the second line does uh, serial print. It doesn't do anything to the robot, but it'll give you feedback on what that sensor is actually seeing. So I highly recommend running this program with the USB cable attached and then clicking on the button over here, Serial Monitor, and you'll see values. And that will show you the distance values that are continuing to run over and over again. Um, Next, um, I left the first if-then statement, but I gutted everything inside of it. So I put a comment here called do something, but you write your own code here that you want it to do. So for example, if the distance in front of it is greater than 10 and the distance is less than 40, so in other words, this code says if the distance in front of the ultrasonic sensor is between 10 and 40, then do this. Otherwise, that's what this says, else if the distance is less than 10, do something else that you want it to do. And then else, well this is the third scenario, third scenario must mean that it's greater than 40, so if it's greater than 40, do that. So you're going to replace these three lines of doing something with your actual code, whether you want it to go forward, you want it to go backward, you want it to stop, you want it to turn, whatever you'd like it to do, you're going to code in here the distances. And this final bracket closes the loop, or sorry, the function ultra process. So you need that final bracket. And the other brackets in between are signify everything you want it to do when you do else, everything else if, everything when you do if. So you can have several lines of code here. You don't just have to have one, but you have to make sure the brackets surround all the code so you can do it. All right. Well, that's how you run the ultrasonic sensor um, and have fun with it.